I am Dr. Renu Chauhan and today we are doing a routine procedure of castration in cat. We are preparing the side by plucking hair. As in cat, hair comes out very easily. Now we have draped our animal for the surgery with a plain towel. Now I am making a small slit in the sterile plain towel to take out the testicles and prevent the our side from surrounding hair. I have made my slit. Now I will take out the testicles so that we can make our incision on each testicle. Here we will once again scrub the site with povidin iodine. It is very important to maintain sterile practice while doing all the surgical processes. So we have scrubbed our area and now we are ready to make incision on the scrotal sac over one testicle. Now we will grab both the testicle applying slight pressure and with BP blade number 5 now I am making a small incision over one testicle cutting the skin daughter's muscle, fascia and uh, tunics of the testicle. After incising we will pop out the testicles as it comes out very easily. Now still there is one layer of tunica vaginalis. I will incise that layer also. And as we are doing this uh, procedure by open method, so we will remove all the layer over the testicle. Now finally I have my testicle and uh, now here is one gubernaculum ligament which attaches head of the testicle so we will tear it. It comes out very easily. So now I am tearing this. Now the gubernaculum is torn and we have our spermatic cord having the blood supply and vast difference. Now we will milk it out and we will place two clamps as close to the body as possible. Now we will ligate the spermatic cord with two ovicral and I will put my ligature just behind the first clamp close to the body. In cats we don't need to circumscribe, in, uh, we don't need to go for transfixation. We can just ligate it and once the ligation is done you can see a paler white area around the ligature. This white area confirms that our ligation is good enough. So here I am ligating spermatic cord with vicryl 2O. After making the ligation, we will cut, cut the thread end slightly long so that we can, after cutting the uh, scrub testicle, we can check for any bleeding. We will keep the thread long and now we will apply one artery force upon the third uh, thread. Now we are cutting the testicle. Uh, this is the testicle, one testicle removed. And now we will check our ligation for any bleeding by holding the thread ends and with the cord surrounding the stump now I am releasing my artery forcep and we will check for any bleeding if there is any bleeding you can obviously always go for the second ligation see our stump is clear there is no sign of bleeding so now we will cut the thread short and put it back
now we will do the same procedure on the second testicle in cats we give two incision each on one testicle so now we will again give one incision over the other testicle by the same procedure applying slight pressure at the base of the testicle and giving incision over the skin fascia datus muscle tunica vaginalis and peritoneal tunica tunics and uh, we'll apply slight pressure to pop out the testicle out once the testicle is out we will tear the cubernaculum ligament which attaches head head of the testicle to the scrotal sac you can tear this cubernaculum with a gauge it comes out very easily like peeling after tearing it out we we will get our more space for the spermatic cord ligation sometimes this cubernaculum tends to be very fibrous uh, but with patience we can always tear this out and it comes very easily most in most of the cases now this cubernaculum is torn and we will milk out the spermatic cord having uh, this blood vessels and uh, vas deferens now we will apply two blood clamps two clamps and uh, ligate behind the first clamp close to the body just we did previously and after ligation we will cut in between the two artery forceps applied and then we will check for the bleeding I am applying first artery forcep and now ligating behind the artery forcep which is closer to the body we usually put four, th four rounds of knot in while using vicryl as sometimes the knot slips and may come out so we need to be very careful and uh, put at least four throws Now we will cut the second testicle and check for bleeding. If there is any bleeding we can put second knot. Our stump looks nice and clean and there is no sign of bleeding. So we will cut the thread short and put it back. There is no need to put suture on the scrotal incision, so we'll keep it open at the as the incision is very small and it heals very quickly in cats, and uh, also it will give uh, place for drainage. 
we just need to do daily dressing with liquid betadine we will put liquid betadine from the incision daily and uh, we'll give animal antibiotics for uh, five days and uh, it is a very simple procedure in male cat and it heals within one week the cat will begin to do normal activities just after one day see you can see there are two incision sites and uh, from this we will put some povidin iodine so that there is no infection and it heals very nicely